I think a little history lesson. Um, so the military was, was financed by the prince and he decided to abolish the military. And then during World War II actually the question came up again, should we have a military? But then some residents of our country just kind of, you know, took over the, the border patrol to the Nazi regime. So it was never really a question anymore after that. And now we don't really see the need for it because we are part of the Bodenseeregion, which is basically Germany, Switzerland, Austria and Liechtenstein. And we all are good neighbors and we keep those relations quite strong and we work together on issues. And I think that that could be an example for other countries that if you have a good relationship to your neighbors and to maybe also Europe in general, then you don't really need to be a military. Okay, so that is actually quite simple to answer the question. If it, it all has to do with Czech mentality, we simply do not like to wage war. Like human life is very something very precious to us. So so yeah, we are like a nation of pacifists, I would say. And actually maybe it's something to be proud of because I believe we are the only nation in the world who has made a nation-scale revolution from the communist regime to the democracy in 1989 without the loss of single life. And I believe that's the only revolution on which uh, human life has been spent. So, so that's maybe something to be proud of. And the follow-up, yeah, so what could other countries learn? Well, it's like making the thought of pacifism internal to your like thinking and behaving, uh, which probably takes some effort, but I think it can be learned. I was a participant in that camp in uh... 2013, I guess. The name of the camp is uh, International Friendship and uh, Study and Friendship Camp. And uh, this year they made a 62nd International Study and Friendship Camp. And uh, every year they make an event called Festival of Nations, where the participants from the camp and uh, the people who live in Langelois, because this camp is held in Langelois, and another, how do you say, invited guests come there, uh, and the delegations, because every year there are, I don't know how many delegations, but there are a lot of countries. This year there was you know, 24 uh, nations went to that camp, and they made uh, some kind of presentation about something that they think that it's important about their camp. No, they are national society or their country. And uh, because I was a participant like four years ago, I could go there to that event and I went to that event and I go there every year. That's why my English is good.